The thing that I love about this whole program and, and how it fits in with ISC is that, you know, even the name of this building, the Integrated Science Center, what we're really doing here is we're integrating education and research together the way they should be. These, this lab that you were just filming these students in is a teaching lab, but it's completely surrounded by our research facilities. We don't have all of the equipment to do the research that these students are doing in that teaching lab. Some of it's in Margaret's personal lab, some of it's in my lab, some of it's in Kurt's lab. These students, in the process of doing this research project, leave that teaching lab and they go into Margaret's lab to use um, spectrophotometers and centrifuges. They come to my lab to run gels and to image things. So they interact with our research students. So there's this kind of a seamless integration between students who are in a, quote, laboratory class that are now um, blending into our research labs. So, so they really begin to see how we're doing our personal research and then they start to ask questions about what it is that our research programs in our labs do. I know that some of these students got interested and are now working in Margaret's lab. Three or four of them are in, are, are in Margaret's lab. Others have gone into Kurt's lab because in the process of developing this mentoring relationship that we've got with these students, they've become interested in our research and have gotten interested in, in the art and science of research. So they've just, they've just you know, become part of our research family in the lab. So this is why the ISC was so important for us because it immersed these students, not in a teaching environment like they would be in Millington where the teaching labs are even on a separate floor than most of the research. Here they are surrounded by other students doing research and faculty members doing research. So it just, it indoctrinates them into the culture that we want, that we want to indoctrinate them into.